Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a review of the new AMD Radeon R9290. So this gives you a ridiculous amount of performance for $400, so let's take a look. The R9290 reference design is entirely unchanged from its bigger brother, which means that while it looks nice, it really can't compete with more open coolers. You still have dual BIOS on board, but instead of having quiet and uber modes, the 290 runs the fan at 47%, basically splitting the difference. It's a loud card, however you can adjust the fan speed down if you're willing to give up a bit of performance. Physically, it's identical to the 290X with dual DVI, HDMI and DisplayPort, and 8 plus 6 pin PCIe power connectors. It's also based on the same Hawaii GPU that's been slightly cut down with 2560 stream processors compared to 2816, max clock speeds of 947 MHz versus 1 GHz, and the same 4 GB of GDDR5 RAM. That's very nice to have on a $400 card, especially for gaming at high resolutions like 4K. AMD is really pushing the card right out of the box, so don't expect to get much more by overclocking. By default, Powertune will run the card right up to 95 degrees Celsius before throttling, which they insist is safe, but you can lower the max temperature if you'd like. You also get all of the new features from the 290X, including Crossfire without a bridge, you get Mantle, as well as True Audio support. However, the real kicker with this card is the ridiculous performance. AMD definitely isn't pulling any punches with the R9 290. For $400, you get a card that outperforms the GTX 780 and sometimes even the R9 290X, however it does that at the expense of being a very loud and a very hot card. At the price, there's no beating this card as long as you're willing to deal with the higher temperatures and noise level. So what do you guys think? Would you pick up an R9 290 for your next build? Definitely be sure to let me know in the comments below. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel so you're always kept up to date with the latest and greatest. Anyway, I will catch you guys next time.